Hey, this is Zanriel, and today I'm looking at Hero of the Kingdom. I got this as part of a bundle. I've been looking at it for a while. Just kind of curious, like, what? what is that? What is that game? It is so weird looking. I mean, it looks kind of neat, like the graphics and stuff. Looks like an old classic RPG or an old RPS or something. Anyway, I've been playing it a little bit, and... Hold on. And just to kind of get a feel for what it what it is I, I made a little first impressions thing but I decided to start over so here we go I'm gonna show you what this game is alright so it's all about clicking stuff and you click stuff and you click stuff and you click stuff and you click that and you click that and it tells you this and that <clears throat> but what it is you got all these icons you, you, okay let me back up the object of the game is to make your way all the way through this map and reveal like all the map screens. So it's a little bit like a point and click adventure game where you have to find items and then you use those items for other stuff. And so you'll go into a screen and it's going to have like different quests that you take. You just click, you know, you just click on these little icons, basically. And those are going to give you different things that you use to uh, you use on other things. So, for example, you might click on something that requires wood. So then you have to go somewhere else and click on something else that gives you that wood. But maybe you go back to that other thing that's going to give you the wood, and they want they want something else. So it's a lot of going back and forth, and go up here and go down there and see this thing needs wood. So I click on the saw to get some wood, and then everything takes hearts. Everything you do takes hearts, and I guess it's kind of like action points. And so if you go to your inventory, you can see how many hearts you have, and eventually you run out of hearts and you can't do anything but it's got these camps scattered around that you click on to get hearts back there we go, can you fix that? see I do all this stuff, I fix all this stuff up and then they burn the farm how do you like that? And it's got a little storyline read through all the little dialogue things but it's I'll tell you, I've never played a game quite like this. I, d I don't know if there's even anything else out there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, tablet game, but I don't know if that's really... I don't know if it is a tablet game, but it's just that it's so clicky, you know? Like, oh, tap, tap, tap. But it's cute. It's got cute graphics, it's got cute sound, it's got little animations and stuff, and lots of little pictures and I should hire some workers well there's some workers and this is the price for our help so I got me some workers and what else do they need see they need rope and hearts so I click on this to buy rope and then I click on this campsite and I use bread you use food at the campsite. Well, some campsites require gold. That one requires food. Now I got my hearts. So I got my hearts, workers, and rope. Click yes, fix the bridge. There we go. And then you get some stars, and certain things require stars. So everything in the game is currency for something else. So everything you click on requires some type of currency. Like this needs baskets. So where do you get baskets? Well, we'll find out. And I got that, which gives me some gold, but there's more gold there if I have a pickaxe. So I buy a pickaxe, now I can get some more gold. But I still need that basket. So I'm going to go up here and see what I can find to get a basket. Oh, look, here's something else. Ooh, shiny. And he needs potions. So, here's somebody that's got potions. 
Oh, but she needs something. But she gives me baskets, but I can't use those baskets on that other thing because I need to get whatever she's wanting so I can get that potion. There, now I got the baskets and she, she gives me that. And then I click on this guy. He's like, he's like, oh no, need something stronger. That's not gonna do it. So then I go here and she trades food for potions. Let's see here, but, and I have enough, like, cheese to get a potion, so I'll use that. There we go, I got a potion. Alright, now he gives me this stuff. Now I need hearts, so I go here, and use fruit to camp. Get some hearts, now I can look at that. Now I got. I need a knife and stuff, but for this I need a torch and hearts. And I think I saw a torch back here. Yep. Now I can go up here, use the torch and the hearts to get golden knife. Now I can use the knife on the woods, except I need more hearts. Use the fruit to get some hearts. And then use the hearts to get the wolves. See? She swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird? She swallowed the bird to catch the spider? Swallowed the spider to catch the fly? But I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So that's the kind of game this is. It's all about chains. It's about causality chains. And you click on this, which requires that to get this other thing. See, this guy needs wood. Where do I get the wood? Oh, there's some wood. And that guy's like, hey, you just stole my wood. What are you doing? Oh, well, uh, sorry about that. You know, I, I, is there any way I can make it up to you? Yeah, you can help me rebuild my little shack here. Oh, okay, well, I'll use some of the stuff I've gotten to help you do that. He's like, okay, but now I need some fish. Oh, well, where do I get fish? Well, this guy here is like, hey, I know a fisherman. So you click on that guy, and he's like, hey, cool, here's some fish. And if you want some more fish, here's a pole and some bait. Okay, now I got some more fish. And then get some fish from there, but I need hearts. And here's somebody that's got a quest, but she wants bread and eggs, and so then you have to find out where the eggs are. And then you get the fish. You get some more wood, but you need hearts. I need hearts for everything. So now I'm going to go down here, get some hearts. See? That's pretty much how it works. That's kind of the deal. And I'm sure there's some strategy involved where you probably don't want to spend certain types of currency unless you absolutely have to. So now he wants workers in stone. And I remember back here, back, back, this guy sells stone. I forgot how many it needed. I got enough, so I just need workers. So where do you get the workers? Oh look, there's some workers. Oh, see that shows you how many you have. Duh. There we go. Now we got workers in stone. See? And then it opens up new stuff, and you uncover another part of the map, and you just go on and on and on. So that's Hero of the Kingdom. Pretty simple. Once you figure it out, it is weird. I've never seen a game like it. But I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal. It's actually kind of cool. Options are really limited. Go out here. Look at settings. 
So, would I recommend Hero of the Kingdom? Well, it just depends on what kind of gamer you are. If you're the kind of gamer that likes to mix it up a lot and play everything from hardcore action games to light-hearted match three and puzzle games, yeah, you'd probably like it. But if you're a gamer's gamer, like you, you know, you 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 only play like the top tier stuff, <laughs> no, stay away. But it's not bad. I can I can see myself playing it, you know, if I was in the mood for something kind of light and casual and, you know, just wanted to kind of sit back and click on stuff, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of got a whimsical art style, good music, good animations. It's not bad. It's not bad. 